The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Amazon.com and TeePublic.com. Listeners, beware. Coming straight from the Mouths of Madness. I am one of the hosts, Lowdown. With me, as always, is... F.U. Hunter. What's up, you ho-ho bitches? Ho-ho-ho, naughty bitches. Naughty! So naughty. (laughs) Punishment is good. Good, naughty. (laughs) Nipples and antler stabbings. Yeah. Oh. Impalements. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. All the good stuff brings you Christmas cheer. (laughs) So, with that, that's a hell of an intro. Fuck. Uh, So, tonight on Killer Filler, we're going to be discussing... The 1984 Christmas classic, Silent Night, Deadly Night, versus the 2012 loose remake, Silent Night. Yeah. Which, by the way, folks, we know there is a new one coming out in 2021 called Silent Night, but I read the description for that film, and it's actually listed as a remake in the remake section on Wikipedia for the 84 film, and I'm like, this is in no way. There's three things. No, I'm talking about the 2021 one. Oh, really? There's a movie coming out this year... Called Silent Night, and it's supposed that to be. They categorize it in Wikipedia as another remake, and well, I'm maybe. like, I don't know, dude. I watched, I read the synopsis. There's no Killer Santa, like hmm. that right off the bat says it's not, it's not even close. Yeah, you gotta have a Killer. Is Santa. it gonna be kind of like a fucking um, Wrong Turn remake? Oh like, God, yeah. You know where they're like, you yeah. know, well, the first one took place in the woods, and, and this one yeah. also takes this, place this in the one woods. Has Christmas in the house. Yeah, and, yeah. This and one, murder, it's I guess. during Christmas time. Yeah, that's fine. That's sure, a remake. <laughs> But these two films are, so yeah, we're not doing a triple one this Christmas like we did with Black Christmas last year, although that was a fun episode, because fuck 2019's Black yeah, Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Fuck that movie. Uh, and I'll be, go back and listen, not because of PG-13 movie, not because it's all females, they just did a horrible job with it. Yeah. Just side this note. This is a shit movie. It was a shit movie. So, the 84 and 2012 films, while they do share like a few differences with a few nods as well, they're... Two wildly different movies. Yeah, yeah. But, I realized there's actually a third one. I was, I said when I was talking before we started recording, there was two. There's actually a third one, which is Antlers through the chest. Yeah, that, that, that was yeah, that was one. But yeah, the OG does it so much better. This and is Linnea Quigley. Exactly. I mean, well, there. Yeah, who gets stabbed and the way they presented it. Yes. Yeah. We didn't really get that this time. Yeah, it was kind of bullshit. Yeah, it was rated R. We should have got some something. Well. We'll get into it, but yeah, the, boy, yeah. the boyfriend uh, gets most of it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was awesome. So, yeah, the 84 film, directed by Charles Sell- Charles Sellier, Sellier, I think, Junior. I think that's how you put it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Just call Charlie. Charles. Yeah. What's up, Charles? Chucky. <laughs> um, who, side note, also created through writing the books and the films of The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. Really? Yeah, dude. That's... So he's like, hey, Grizzly Adams, now fuck your son. Naughty. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that, dude. I hate fucking nuns. I fucking hate people. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, repressed rage versus nice man that befriends bear. Yeah. Okay. So an 84 film is basically about this kid, Billy, loosely about his brother, Ricky. But Billy is basically an orphan who. Hold on. Well, let's just say this. Billy has what I would define as one of the worst days ever. And then it's timed right around Christmas. Yes. And he goes with his family. Because we got to throw this in here. Before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the most traumatic shit, oh, yeah, yeah. they go to visit his grandfather, who's canatonic, mm-hmm. we believe. And the mom and dad go, here, Billy, you stay with him while we go do something separate real quick. And as soon as they walk out, grandfather, who hasn't said shit or like just stares off in nowhere, grabs him and starts being like, fucking Christmas is... It's an evil time. Like, yeah, what's he say? He says, oh, you fear Santa. He yeah. only he only brings presents to the good children and he punishes the naughty. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you get to see, oh, oh my God, grandfather's talking. I mean, he's saying some fucked up shit. But <laughs> you get that. And then... So the grandfather just instills, because it's the fir- like, first time granddad's ever talked to me. I'm like five. And he tells him some fucked up shit. And then the parents come in and then uh, the grandfather stops and stares back at there and he's like, 
but grandfathers are like, no, no, you're, you're full of you're shit, mistaken. kid. You're mistaken. You're, yeah, you're full of shit, Your kid. Your granddad did not just so, tell like, you. So, grandfathers are wanting to fuck with him, which that, that, and then the, the family car ride back, and you find out that there's some piece of shit dude dressed as Santa that robbed a place or whatever like that, and uh, he sees the family car, stops it, kills the dad. All right. The kills in this film were solid, especially for 84. He, like, shoots him in the fucking head. Yeah. That was pretty rad. Yeah. And then, now this this part, this Grabs Billy, by the way, Billy ran out of the car. Yeah, ran out of the car. He's hiding Listen, in the side of the road. But, runs out of the car, dad's dead, mom gets pulled out, Santa's like, I'm gonna get me a piece of whatever, since I already, I'm already, I murdered the dad, and, you know, tries to rape the mom, and ends up, you just say, alright, well, I'll rip your shirt, and I'm just gonna fucking kill you. Yeah. Which, you know, this is, this is a holiday classic for uh, Charlotte and me. Mm. But we always have to go five minutes into the movie because she's really not into the rapey yeah, part of the graphic. movie. It's not like yeah, it's a nice saying. rape scene. Like, well, there's no nice rape scenes, but there's some they cut away for. Yeah. This one's like, it's, ah. well, Just they beat, they, like, they beat Billy up so much with the weird grandfather and then the family trip that ends in murder, rape and murder. You just so, like, like, not only does grandfather tell him Santa's to fear Santa and he's an evil motherfucker. Yeah. And he also sees a Santa at five years old, tried, kill his dad, and try. And oh, he, didn't know, he didn't know. He didn't know his he, his mom was being raped. He was five years old, but he saw he his mom get his Santa throat rip slit. Ma- mom's shirt. Yes, with a and knife, then, and then sees her throat get slit. I'm yeah. just saying, a five year old doesn't understand what rape is. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. He just saw mom got murdered differently than dad in a really yeah ni- nice by way. Santa. By, by Santa. By Santa. Let's just throw yeah. that in there. So by Santa. Flash forward eight years forward, he's him and Ricky are in a. a orphanage run by a church so there's nuns we got mother superior who's a straight cunt yeah funny name to mother superior because thinks superior yeah Suspiria, exactly so like it's just i don't know whatever anyway she thinks that punishment is a good thing so billy is still is, getting shit on these kids already experienced some fucked up shit and they're like yeah billy let's fuck with you some more we're gonna this beat it kid, out of them. you just do you just keep beating him down throughout this movie yes. like as he sees what happens to his parents, and then he's in the orphanage, and like, go fuck yourself, Billy. Like, he's just... And so, like, you know, eventually we get to, like... He's an adult. An adult. And he uh, he gets a job at a local store. Um, it's Christmas time, of course, at this point. He has a crush on one of the girls that works there. Yeah. Well, the Santa that was supposed to be at the store canceled last minute, so the owner basically didn't... He told Billy he had to be Santa... Automatically triggered flashbacks. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> hey, then, anybody wants, hey, you're going to be Santa. What? What, Santa killed your parents? Well, dad. Yeah, it's fine. This won't affect you at all. It's fine. Yeah. And then, and then, they have the company Christmas party afterwards where he's still apparently, for some reason, has to dress like Santa. And he finds the girl he has a crush on, one of the other guys that works there, go in the back room and start making out. Well, he tries to rape her. And then he just full blown, that's it. That was Billy, literally, that was that, it. That was that, that was it. He's Billy like, nope. He fucking kills a dude. And then you think she's like, well, thank you for well, stopping the rapist. With the fucking, uh, the lights. Yeah. That was awesome. But you think she could be like, oh, thank you for, guy, this guy was going to try to rape me. But she's like, that's fucked up. You killed him. And then he's like, all right, well, you're, you're dead too then, bitch. Yeah, he, like he stabs her and literally he just says naughty. And yeah. as he's stabbing naughty. her. Naughty. And I was like, what the fuck? So they do somewhat do a similar thing with the, 20, with the 2012 remake where the kid does have some trauma. You find it out at the end. You know, the 84 goes in, in time timeline. Yeah, 84, there's no mystery. Yeah. We see Billy. We see the buildup of Billy being They're fucked up. They're trying to up. make you guess who the killer is. Yeah, and then the, re- and, and the, the remake, it's, it's like, hmm, who could be the killer? Right, the mask you wore was pretty fucking creepy, though. I do like the mask, but... You and the blood the, and the beard. You can beard. have the mask without having a fucking mystery. I don't fucking care. Well, the, I don't care who, who it is. But the, I mean, and the blood that grew in the beard, because the Billy didn't wear a beard, so he's just a guy with this blood no, red beard. No, he did. Beard. He had the beard hanging off like a fucking, like, Oh, yeah, Amish, it was actually off his yeah, face. Like yeah, like an Amish Santa yeah. thing going on. That's why, yeah, when you, yeah that's why, because when you see him, you just, you, you see the beard kind of as, yeah. a, as a side piece. Billy's sweaty with the Amish Santa beard throughout the entire movie. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, basically this guy, his Mom cheated on his dad. His dad, uh, with him, drove to the, his wife, the, the mom's company Christmas party with a flamethrower. Yeah. With a fucking flamethrower. Pulls her out of the party. Burns her alive. Cops show up. Fucking cops shoot the dad. It hits the fucking flamethrower. So not only does dad get shot, he gets burnt. Yeah. And meanwhile, Rodney, is this kid's name, is in the car. watches this happen. Yeah. This is pretty fucked up. It is pretty Plus, fucked up. Plus, man... How angry are you to fucking bring a blowtorch? <laughs> like that's some dude. 
Like, oh my god. Like, but I got we, you. We, all right, we got to weigh it real quick, all right? Because that's, we have Billy from the OG, and, and then we Ronnie got... Ronnie from the yeah. remake, yeah. And we're like, okay, so, I mean, both situations... Ronald, excuse me, Ronald, not Rodney. Both Ronald's situations are fucked up. That yes. That turns them to what they do. I, I don't know which one's worse. All right, I think... All right, they're both fucking horrible. Because but, he knew that was his dad, dressed yes. as Santa, burning the fuck out of his mom, and then dying. So I feel like... I, still, I, I feel like was... Billy still has... Billy, literally, happy family trip, fucking Santa out of nowhere. Hey, cool, it's Santa. Yeah. Santa blows dad dad's head away, and then fucking, you know, kills, slits mama's throat. Like, yeah. I think... As, like I said, Billy doesn't understand old, the... I mean, he saw mom's shirt get ripped, but he doesn't understand what he, the dude is doing at yeah. five years old. That's what I'm saying. The only thing he so, processes is Santa's doing exactly. this to them. So that's pretty rough, but to see because, daddy... Well, hold on, because in the remake... Dude, he's got the Santa outfit on, but he's not even wearing a fucking beard or anything. So, you know, the kid knows that's dad with the Santa outfit with the blowtorch. There's no mystery mm-hmm. to it. You know, and like if you saw random Santa all committed with a beard, blowtorch, melt mom. All right, then guess what? That yeah. that's going to fuck you up. So I got I, I'm still going to throw it to Billy's way. Really? I don't know, man. I think like no like seeing dad kill mom and then seeing ch- cop kill dad yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Like, seeing someone burn alive, that's slow and, and <laughs> now, horrible. Now we're ready to, like, I don't know, bleeding don't know, out, bit of your throat slash, or being burned like, yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't it's know. It's a tough one. Uh, both of them are traumatic. Yes. Both, yes, them are, both traumatic. are fucking horrible. Horrible. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to give it to Ronald on this one. I really am. That's, <laughs> that, oh, I'm fuck. sticking with Billy. All right, all right. So Because here's the thing. And this is the, 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 the topping on it. Remember, I brought it up earlier. Billy had the fucked up grandpa experience right before he saw Santa murder his family. Yeah, the weir- the remake gave this weird there, it's throwback a, it's a to character it. character we don't really know. Well, it was the boyfriend of the mayor's daughter. Yeah, but it, does, it, it, doesn't, it matter. doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just, they just threw it in there to say, oh, see, we got a can of town of grandpa yeah. too, see? And hey, that, and, yeah, but, see? But that's what I'm saying. So add that to Billy. Add that extra the little thing. The only thing that makes sense is that he was alive when that happened, but the guy wasn't dressed like Santa. So it's not like a big deal. All right. Yeah. See, and, the, and the grandfather in the remake doesn't say it's Santa. He says Christmas. He talks about Christmas time. Yeah. He doesn't talk about Santa. In the, in the original, he talks specifically Santa. Fear Santa. Yeah. You know? But, uh, yeah, so basically I mean, in, the, in the 84... Well, I was going to say, I feel like at this point, they kind of follow the same path. There's kill yeah. after kill after kill. I will give Billy's it happens all at night, though, until the next morning. So that was kind of cool. It was all at nighttime. Yeah, that's all at night till he goes to the orphanage. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So so basically, there's a couple kills. There's a, He finds another, and Billy finds another couple having sex, which, okay, naughty, and he kills them. And then he comes across the, the other. Sled, the sled kids. That's a, that, so that's the last kill before, like, the beginning. Yeah. So then he finds the uh, another couple that are partying. This is Linnea Quigley and her boyfriend. Yeah. But they're actually babysitting. So, like... That's right. He, he impales... I forget what he does to Dude Man, but he impales her in panties on the antlers. Yeah, because she... Okay, she answers the door topless. Yeah, seriously. Which I, seriously. I won't complain. No, but... But, uh, but in the same instance, you're like, you think you kind of go, uh, I don't know who's at the door. Maybe just throw a shirt on. She's, like, topless, so... Yeah. Of course, he's, like, naughty. And what's funny is, is the remake says... Not to the same person who gets, you know, impaled by the antlers in the remake, but can we get a scene for about two to three minutes of somebody topless, as we do? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, they were like, oh, oh, well, that's in the original? All right, well, let's have somebody running around for about about three to five minutes. It's with, honestly, with though, it's just not the one I'd prefer to be topless. I know, yeah. Just saying. Just, yeah. if I, I mean, if I had to pick, I would not, I would have picked the... the Butter death. Oh, shoot, her death was rad. Yeah. So, yeah, he shows up at the mayor. The mayor's daughter does, like, not really porn pics, just, like, softcore. Yeah, and they literally know? say soft, softcore. Like, yeah. Yeah, where and, it's just, like, and tawny mo- seedy, and then tits out. CD motel room, and then he shows up. And I like how he kills the f- fucking assistant. It, like, stabs in the fucking gut with, like, the this re... Like, it's almost like a scythe. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. And then, like, chops the head off. And then dude gets fucking an axe right, to the balls, I, dude. I, oh, man. I feel... Yeah. And he was alive! Because, of course, it doesn't kill you. You gotta bleed out for a while. Like, but, yeah, he was alive, It, it goes right up into the fucking oh, dude. crotch. I haven't seen a crotch shot like that since Mother's Day, the trauma film. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That was painful. And but, then the chick... She was getting her photos taken and gotten down to panties and topless at this point. She escapes out the window. and uh, Which is weird 
because she's running through it's daytime she's running through like they're in a motel doing this right she's banging on doors and there's like nobody it's a small town but there's no she runs for like three blocks banging on door after door not a single person out during the daytime here makes it to a tree lot yeah and, and that's not, and and so they show you the wood chipper and they like they make up they make up they make sure you see the wood chipper yeah right because she kind of like hides around, moves around, and kind of like goes back to the witch after she passes it. You're like, okay, this. I mean, clearly that's when what he turns she, it on. Remember, she's hiding. That's where he turns it on. She hears it turned on, and she's like, oh, who turned that on? Yeah, but, like, but what, wait, what, what are you doing? But wait, it's not. Not. Am I just going to grab you and throw in the witch I'm oh, going to cut oh. your fucking leg off first. There was a small oh. opportunity that didn't happen. What's that? Which you, yeah, she she runs out. He pops out of nowhere, axes her fucking leg. She falls down, leg off. Then she's crawling away. He grabs her leg, and I was like. Is he gonna beat her with her own leg, dude? I yeah, I was waiting for it, but dude. then he's like, well, "I just want to put all of you in." Oh the yeah, wood he chipper. beats her enough just to where she goes slightly unconscious, and then she wakes up just in time to realize she's in the wood chipper. Yeah, well, he puts her leg in first. No, no, no. I'm it. saying if he had beat her with oh, her own yeah. leg, like that would have been pretty. That would, that would have been prime, dude. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh. He grabs the the you know leg and goes over to her, and I thought he should have that. All right, he and should've. that might have been. If that that might have put that in a higher rate for me because well, still oh, a we haven't seen a wood chipper death that fun since Tucker, Tucker Dale. Dale. Come yeah. on, man! Like and that was, it was this fun. one, feet first. Feet first. Oh, so that so made you us feel it. So yeah, because oh. he literally one leg first as he tossed the the leg in, and then he tosses her in, and yeah, so she's getting grinded and he's pushing her yeah. down. And this is where at first you're done. Like you might you're gonna feel like a split second until it actually hits you know through the skull. But like I don't feel like this movie goes so back and forth. It plays like a, a low-budget movie, but then there's some really good shots in this. Yeah. And one of them is when he's pushing her down, you see the viewpoint at some point of then his, like, her, what she would be looking at, of just looking at him as she's getting pulled into the wood yeah. chipper, and the blood spraying, and this whole beard that's what I'm saying, dude, just the beard covered in covered blood. In blood and I was like, that's pretty fucking badass. It's pretty rad. It's pretty but fucking rad. But then you get to other scenes, you're like, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> well, okay, so no one's uh, there's a kill that happened before her, and apparently, you know, no one is safe in this film where he cattle prods a fucking kid. Oh yeah, she was a bitch though. Yeah. That, that teenager was a. Fucking oh, was cunt. she a bitch? Oh, she was a bitch. All right, and here's straight up bitch. Here's going to be one of the things I'm going to bring up at this remake: is everybody in this movie is an asshole except for the main like character, the main chick, right? Yeah, or the but, father. The father, and mom are nice. Okay, yeah. But besides Donald, Donald that, Logue, dude, he's everybody fucking... else in this movie, everybody else in this town, this is a town of assholes. It's yes. a small town of assholes. Oh, the, the deputy dude's just kind of a doof, but he's, he's not an asshole. But, man, I'm, you get introduced to so many fucking asshole characters. Especially Malcolm McDowell. Well, Malcolm McDowell. His but character is a... You have the... No, dude, his character, I think, takes the fucking cake. But his you start out, even this teenage asshole. girl, you only get to see her for, like, three minutes. But literally, Mom's about to take her heart medicine... Daughter walks up, slaps the medicine out of her hand, says, I want to go to the mall. Yeah, dude. And see, the mom's like, well, what do you want? You know, you're, you're, it's tomorrow's Christmas. You might get it. Then she goes, I don't fucking care, mom. Take me to the mall. And you're like, what a fucking bitch. Yeah, see, that's And that's, that's every character yeah. in this movie. But, but see, with the, with the teenager, that's literally where they get the shit, sla shit slapped out of them. Yeah. No apologies. But, like, literally knocking mom's heart medicine out. That's what Fuck I'm you, saying. mom. You don't get heart medicine. You take me to the mall. You deserve a smack across the face. Yeah. You but do. then everybody's, everybody, the, the, there's a preacher or a pastor. Oh, he's that, a perv, dude. He's it's a disgusting. perv and stealing money. Like, literally everybody in this movie is a fucking scumbag. So it's fun to watch him die, though. Yeah, but it's a small town. So yeah. how does that happen? How do you get so many assholes in such a small proximity? Malcolm McDowell's just, like, so afraid to get old. He's just like, yeah, I got it. He just it. keeps uh, on, I'm, I'm going to be the fucking hero. You can't do this. I'm the hero. You're too right. sensitive. Yeah, he's yeah. Just such a little, he just talks shit all the time. Yeah. yeah, and he didn't even care about her trauma from losing her, I guess it was still her boyfriend or fiance at Christmas. She's like, you know, because he calls her in. He's like, ah, you know, I can't, I don't really want to come in today because, you know, you know what this day is. He was like, all right, I'll see you a little bit. I'm like, dick. Yeah. <laughs> fucking dick. But yeah, so everybody sucks in this town, and, and so yeah, and of course, then everybody gets fucking killed in this town by, again, it's a well, small dude, the town. first kill, the, the dude was fucking cheating, the, the wife that that was cheating with this young dude, and that's the dude he killed. Oh, the deputy, yeah. Uh, 
The, oh, the guy first, he electrocuted. Yeah, the first the first oh, one. By yeah. the way, that eye pop was rad. That was pretty, yeah. Pretty, that was pretty fucking and rad. And later on, they show up to find him and her, or her there, and her uh, on another part of the house. And, and then her also part, another part of the house. Yeah, yeah. literally, they just chopped yeah. over and like, placed her throughout the house. It was awesome. That was sweet. No, that, that's some really good... Oh, the actually the face of the deputy, Doofy. That Remember, was pretty good, yeah. He's taking the trash out, which that was a callback to actually Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Yeah, where he goes... Ah, oh, garbage day. Oh, fuck, stop. Yeah, and that that yeah stop. that's that was painful. You don't you don't need to do that by the way. Just yeah, but when he looks into the car and there's and there's like some death metal band playing and that axe to the face because like you get a good side shot of that. Like that was a pretty rad. Oh, and the boyfriend of the mayor's daughter. That oh, how they... do we now you know, yeah? So mayor's daughter, same death of from the OG gets lifted, antler kill, hanging on the wall. No titties though. See, okay. That's the one I want to see the titties of. I'm sorry. I'm being greedy here. Yeah. It's like, we got and titties. They weren't her the ones Her boyfriend, who had had the experience with the grandfather who, you know, was cantonic and then... Yeah, yeah. And fucking gets stabbed in the back. You're like, oh, that sucks. And then um, his face... His, literally, his face got chopped in half. That's yeah, the best way I can awesome. put it. The axe comes down. So and you're like, okay. And look right through him. Like, his head just splits. That was fucking badass. So fucking awesome. Yeah, that, that there are some really good kills in this. Yeah. I will say. But again, with eighty four, that sled kill is just so funny. Yeah, it is. So and those kids deserved it because there was two teenagers fucking screwing with some other younger kids yeah, in their assholes. sled, stole their sled, riding it. Woo! Look at me, I stole the sled. Here comes Billy. Naughty. Oh, the first time I watched, I saw Silent Deli and I, I, I had to rewind that over and over again because that that kill is so fucking funny. That kid's just like. Fuck you, and then head off. Yep. Yep. It was yep. awesome. So the the move the uh, eighty four wrapped up better. I feel like because after did that, it? It, but did it, it did but the remake solved a mystery of stop who yeah, who see. was killing. It, it's, it, the fact they it waited was to the end. It was, remake, yeah, yeah. But they decided we're not going to reveal who the killer is. We're yeah. going to see him kill a bunch of motherfuckers, and we're going to give you little hints who it might be. And you think it's this dude that's a coke dealer, Santa. And then you think it's this other guy who's an asshole Santa, which is, you know, half the fucking population of this town. Um, you know, they're like, ooh, who could it be? They even almost set you up to think it might be Malcolm McDowell for a second because he's like, I need to check this out by myself. And you're like, all right, don't be too suspicious. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. That was really poor <laughs> But they kept though. throwing, and then finally at the end we find out, no, it's nobody we never knew, we ever heard about just No, little- he's a local. A local, he owns but a, a little, chimney a fucking little cleaning backstory company. halfway through the movie. Like no one thought about him. He owns a chimney cleaning company. Yeah. He's like I will say part this, of the town. He's a resident. This was a lot more premeditated because original Billy... It was sporadic. Just, all right, I, I, I already killed a couple people, so let me just go on a killing spree. And in the remake, every person that he kills... They get a little present. Got a lump of coal, yeah. Yeah, and they open it up and it's got a lump of coal. We saw, you I, saw like, be- I like that touch, though. You saw in the beginning how he was getting ready. Like, they show him shave and put it on. Then he turns around and does, like, the super like the superhero, put the glove on and make the fist. Yeah. He's like, oh, ready to kill. Oh, there is an amazing, ridiculous part in this. Uh, what's his name that uh, plays uh, Asshole Santa? Um, Donald Logue. Yeah. Yeah. So they put him in jail because they think he's the one did it because he's an asshole. I mean, literally, he's telling kids, your, your, your parents should fucking take all your presents back to take... Get the money back or whatever. Just yeah, talking yeah. shit. Like, I don't know why he's dressed like Santa. But they're like, okay, he was in this town where there was unsolved mysteries, uh, unsolved, you know, murders. So we must have done it. So they put him in jail. Near the end of the movie, we get our Santa fucking showing up in the jail. Let's him out. And he's, he starts talking shit to him. He's like, what the fuck you too, man? Like he, and this Santa's like, nope. And then there's a fight. They go fisticuffs. But this is what's fucking crazy. The glove comes off. The brass ring that says "Ho ho ho," oh, dude, it was so goes awesome. On. Dude. I was like, "Okay, that's fucking awesome." That's so good, dude. And then turns his face into mush. Yeah, like, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I know. I chuckled at that. I'm like, "Oh, yeah, ho, that, that was on, pretty." Dude. Yeah, that's where this movie goes. We're being so serious. Well, not that serious. Not that We're serious. being so serious. Not that well, serious. Not that serious. Well, not that serious. It goes back. But I like that. I like how it gives. But it that's that, what throws me off a well, little bit. With how assholeish everybody is and how they're written, they're never really serious, right. in my opinion. Right, but then you have the mystery of who is this killer? Who is it? There's just some parts where it's very like dark, and when she goes in the house and discovers the dude killed, electrocuted, and the, it's almost like um, I would throw it back to like seven or something, mm. where like they walk in. It like has these dark tones, but then yeah, brass knuckles to say ho 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 on it. So it goes up and down, and I think that's what makes it confusing for me on how I feel about this movie, yeah. up for the remake. 
So the very, very end, obviously, they go into the police station. Uh, it ends up being the Jamie King, who's the yeah, that's young right. girl. She ends up, uh, of course, being the final girl. And, yeah, because uh, he, well, Arsene, he shows up, burns Malcolm McDowell. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, yeah. And really, so really, he ends really up getting bad. Burnt. Can I, how many times did I say really, um, really, really, really bad effect? Like, oh, yeah, it was terrible. Like, that's where they ran out of money. He's like, ah. Well, it's on. Looks like he's on a green screen, and there's fire around him, and he's ah, it falls down, and then when she finds him later, they could only do uh, half of his face. Yeah. Like slightly burned. I'm like, didn't he get well, they, hit with a blowtorch? They did a better effect with when you see Arsana at the very last yeah. shot. That would look really good. That was like Freddy Krueger shit. Yeah, that that looked legit. But when she rolls Malcolm down, who's dead? He's dead. Yeah. He's little burn. slightly burned on little the face, singed. and I'm like, uh, little singed. Yeah, they, they they ran out of money. That's yeah. the only thing yeah. I can think of. So that's pretty much, and then it wraps up with the reveal we already went into about the trauma that Ronald dealt with. So that, would, no, we didn't really fucking. Care I didn't give about. a fuck. I really didn't. So in '84, actually, he ends up back at the orphanage because the one nun that was nice to him knows it's him. They had the cops involved. He ends up back there, kills a couple of the cops. Uh, is going after Mother Superior, mm-hmm. and she's in a wheelchair now. Yep, and uh, gets shot and dies, and he's and then, but then he says some fucked up shit like it's okay now. Santa's dead. I'm like, oh fuck, god dude. damn, yeah, to all the kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we the mentioned that his little brother Santa still there. was also shot in front of all these kids. That's the what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, we forgot about the trauma, fact, trauma, 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 trauma. We forgot about the fact at the very beginning when he was still a kid that he punched Santa square in the face. That's right. Remember that shit? That was funny. We also forgot in the original that he uh, peeks in on uh, two teenagers fucking. He gets caught looking through the peephole at that. And Gets Mother punished. Superior is like, punishes Billy for looking at them fucking. So he also, sex is bad. Sex yeah. is naughty. Anything that resembles sex, you know. Yeah. But yeah, so he dies. And his little, his younger brother, Ricky's still there. And God Ricky just God looks at Mother Superior it. really angrily and says naughty. And you're like, okay, uh, I guess you could have made a really good sequel, but you didn't. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, no. The, the sequel is... It, uh, I, we wouldn't get it's killer filler on the original, but... The sequel is so fucking lazy. It's oh, so it's fucking lazy. Like, literally, yeah, literally terrible. the sequel has... You've, you've watched all the night. You're going to watch it again. And then there's 30 minutes of not original movie footage. Nope. So, and so one thing that really does, outside of 84, just being a good, solid film with a f- amazing flow, good kills, again, 1984, is all the controversy that came from this film. Yep. We, have t- we did touch on this back on an early episode. That was our, best, our favorite Christmas horror films. But, you know, for those who haven't listened to that, you can go back and listen to that, and we can talk about, we also talk about other horror films, but if we're going to do a Silent Night, Deadly Night episode, we've got to talk about that, and basically it's just, I mean, the PTA was fucking protesting, moms are outside of fucking movie theaters and, and malls, Yeah, they're and like, just, Santa doesn't kill. Yes, because they showed Santa, and they aired, they aired the trailers for this, uh, but in, during like Little House on the fucking Prairie. Yeah. And like... Well, well, I mean, it's because the original director that dealt with Gr- Grizzly Adams. Adams. So he's like, oh, God. <laughs> but it pissed so many parents off, dude. And, I mean, they such... pulled the movie after, like, uh, like three weeks in theaters. They pulled all the advertisements and posters after it only been in theaters for five like, five or six days. Yeah. Because of all the protests. All up and down the East Coast. One one of the, I'd say, more kind of iconic things with, this, with the movie is the poster. Mm-hmm. Where you literally have they were, well, they were Santa so, yeah. with an axe going down the chimney. But that's the problem. See, is the, the parents were so pissed because they they the the director and the production company and the studio were so focused on making sure people it was Santa with a weapon, like it's Santa's doing yeah. the killing, and they were like, no, this is how we. And I I get it from a marketing standpoint, but then like of course you got all these fucking uptight parents, all these <laughs> fucking <laughs> parents. And, 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 and it's so funny that like all these people took the time to protest and all this shit happened, and well, dude now. How many movies do we have with Santa, like fucking Santa slays and shit like yeah, that? We yeah, just no, murder the fuck out of people. There's tons, but yeah. this movie didn't. This movie was like banned in some countries. Like it took a while. Like it, it took a while to actually get a DVD video release of this yeah. film. Like it, it's, it's, it's been a long road to haul. And it's not like oh, excuse me. And it's not like you have a chubby old looking motherfucker killing people. It's obviously some fucked up dude that again doesn't really wear a beard and he's dressed. And sort of the Santa outfit, like I, I don't see where it's yeah, like I, he's wearing the same uniform as Santa. I think it's because That's not those tra- fair. I think it's because like those trailers didn't air during Little House on the Fucking Prairie, and then more more parents saw and knew about the film, so they got pissed off because A Christmas Evil came out in like it was either somewhere between like seventy eight 
to 81, somewhere in that range. I forget the exact year, excuse me, but... And that's a killer Santa. So, yeah. like, what's the problem there? But you know what they probably didn't do? They probably didn't market it the way they marketed stuff <laughs> exactly. in the deadly night. And, like I said, MPAA had a fucking field day with this film, dude. Like, it... It you couldn't find this film for years oh, after and the, the copy I release. have. There's so much cut out of it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The best copy that you can get now, as far as I know, like I know Arrow did, Arrow Video did release this, but it was like I think 2014 or 2015. That's when you started seeing like companies getting and be able to put it back together. Right. But the newest one I believe is 2018's, or it was either 2018 or 2019. Uh, Screen Factory released it, and so if anybody wants to see like the most like up to date cut well, with a 4K rescan. Well, the, the copy I have, when it cuts to the uncut footage, it is a very shitty film quality. Yeah, so, I, so you know when yeah. it's going. It's like all of a sudden it's like, uh, did my TV just start like? Well, you know, and that's the sick? thing with screen factors. I mean, you're going to be able to tell because yeah. it's clearly different. With, you're, with you're, they're using probably, raw footage. It's probably a little more cleaned up. Yeah, they're using raw footage. DVD. I mean, you know, you're going from them uh, upgrading already good processed film yeah. to raw footage they you're going to see the difference but i it, it doesn't like deter you it doesn't take you out of the movie by the way so. just a side note and one of the things that i got a kick out of with the original silent night this happens sometimes you, you know it's a christmas movie but you don't want to pay for the rights on all the very popular christmas songs oh yeah 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 so there's a scene right at the christmas party before he, billy loses his shit where they're singing around and they're all singing a christmas song but they don't want to pay any rights, so it's some bullshit like time to wrap the presents. Oh, it's terrible! Put it on. And it's obvious. Oh that, god! And I'm just like, hey, paid motherfuckers, shit. We'll make up our own song. So it's the most like snow is on the ground, wrapping our presents, and they're all singing like they all know the song. And they're it's like, terrible. Y'all are full of shit. <laughs> you practice your shit for two hours before the fucking shoot. Exactly. So uh, yeah, we, I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, there's a lot more information about that. If you're interested, just Google it. All this shit will come about. Pictures of all the protesters and literally it's like oh, yeah. old There's, moms with you'll their see fucking... the marquee and yeah, shit. Yeah, dude, and it's then... crazy, dude. Crazy. I that don't want to wanna protest the movie. You're gonna fucking protest because Sarah's killing people. It's like, yeah, yeah. I think you might have done more damage with having the kid do the protest than if you'd seen the fucking movie. But whatever. All right, so let's get into it, man. All right, man. Oh. So we'll finish this up, uh, dude. You know, with how much I just enjoy talking about it, I've got to give it a light killer. Yeah, it's still a killer. It's just, and like, I, it's not. It's not like the. It's not like a. You know, we. You know, we've got different ratings of killers. It's not an ultimate by any means. You know, and it's not even a middle ground. Just it's a killer. It's a light killer because it does. The acting is. It's pretty atrocious. Shit. It's pretty shit. It's, and it oh, hits you over the terrible. head. Every character is generically, generic, asshole. People. Oh yeah, you, like that's or, what I'm saying. Also, or like, just, just generic in general. You remember like the one scene when you. You kind of get introduced to the uh, Jamie King, the orig- uh, the uh, the main final girl, and then you know she has to go to work, but then she like parks in the town and she gets up and she walks like, oh Christmas, and she's just enjoying everybody and hi hi, like she's just over yeah. the top nice. I was like, stop, yeah, stop, but that's and, enough. Yeah, this is honestly, I always want to say this is the closest I've come to. I just, I, it's, I don't know because. I enjoyed. I enjoyed. There was more. I realized. I if I, I, I mean, I stayed. We stated more positives. Yeah. That there are negatives about the film. Yeah. So that's kind of. And I enjoyed talking about all the positives. So I just think there's more positives and negatives. So if I'm gonna weigh it that way, then I got to give it at least a light killer. And you know what I do sometimes is if I'm not sure, if I lean into it, and there has at least three plus good kills in that movie, which this does. This does. So yeah. it leans into the it leans into the killer part. Yeah. Because and that's what I'm saying. It, the tone is so fucking off. Up, down, up, down, you know, but the kills, there's some legit good fucking kills in there. And they happen and, fast enough where... And as stupid as it is, the fucking brass knuckles with the ho-ho, Dude, that, that does it for me. That's, so that's, sh- that's what leads <laughs> it just into that. Now, if they had done the beating her with her own leg thing and the brass knuckles, yeah. it would have been a solid killer. But I, I would combo this with the OG. This is, oh, one, yeah. of those, this is one of those it's where... It's different enough. Yeah, it's different enough. Um, I don't think either one... I, I think they're about even. That's what I'm saying, yeah. like... Like the, the the original has a better follow along story. Yeah. But the kills are, you know, for the time, all right. This one, the story's all over the fucking place. The acting's fucking terrible. But goddamn it, those kills are good. Those kills are fucking rad. Yeah. So, so uh, it's 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 in the killer yep. for me. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Hit us up at lowdownbrown.gy@gmail.com. Let us know if you've seen either of these films, the original or this 2012 remake. If you have, let us know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Give us a feedback. If you haven't, and but you watch them because you listen to this, and we spiked your, sparked your interest, let us know that too. We yeah. like to know that we 
are you know encouraging people to watch other films. So, um, and and also go to GIPodcast.com. Check out all the other shows on the network. Also, while you're on GIPodcast.com, go to our links tab. Click on links. The first link you'll see is Amazon. You have a very short amount of time to buy Christmas presents. After do it. Why hurry, you're, hurry. You're this episode, that means you're last minute all, yeah. all the way. So handle that. <laughs> but do it through our link. Because you, you go through our link, you log in, you shop like normal, nothing extra for you. We you give us kickback. some Christmas cheer and you yeah. just hit the link. There you go. We can appreciate that too because we just spent a bunch of money on Christmas. Don't be naughty. Don't be naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, uh, I'm just trying to break you, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost, almost. Not quite though. Uh, and um, while, also, while you're on our links tab, the next link will be to Public. That's where all the merch is for all the shows under the network. There are so many designs. Every show's got at least a couple. Plus, there's so many random designs that are just fun and ridiculous, which just literally shows the spirit of this entire network. So, buy you could get it on shirts, onesies, notebooks, tote bags, tapestries. So much. So much stuff. Just get a magnet and a sticker. Get little stickers. Great mm-hmm. stocking stuffers. Great stocking stuffers. <laughs> yes. Please get Weapons of Madness. Give it to your five-year-old. Yep. We would appreciate that. Put it in the stocking. There you go. Uh, they were, they're running sales pr- pretty much through the end of the year. So you might not get it in time for Christmas, but, you know, by the time you're listening to this, you're not going to get it in time for Christmas. Yeah. You got like a week. I understand. Well, yeah. well too bad. Yeah. But still order stuff. Great. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, it's your, your, oh shit, I forgot. Here's your late present. Yeah. yeah there you like, go. Hey, I was waiting for this to come in. It's just with the COVID <laughs> and the UPS. Without giving excuses. Yeah, don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, we're helping you out. So he's like, oh, with the COVID and the UPS. Oh, Jace. Oh, oh, oy vey. So, <laughs> and um, as always, embrace the madness. Hobbit here. Lowdown Brown. Inviting you to check out Geek Some of the Influence, a podcast that pairs booze with conversation with good friends. And a little nerd culture. We get a lot of colorful conversation out of our episodes, but it is here for everyone. No gatekeeping. Always level up everything we do. We'll punch up, never punch down. Exactly. So check out Geek Some of the Influence everywhere you get your podcasts and join us or die. Shut the fuck up, Hobbit. Welcome to GUI Nights. GUI Nights. Yeah, I am Lowdown Brown. With me as always, Mike the Hobbit. This is the tangential side of GUI. This is like so many of those other shows that has the after the show bit mixed with a little bit of Baywatch Nights, so it's a little sexier. It's a little bit after hours. Uh, Also while tying it into the previous episode of GUI, so look forward to that too because this comes out the week after the flagship hour-long episode. So make sure to check out GUI Nights, and uh, when you're done, you can go the fuck home. Hey guys, Scotty Big Daddy Preston here, that's right, the Geek Father, asking you to join me here every other week with friends and family of the GUI Network as we go through all the trials and tribulations of being a geeky parent. So remember, join us or cry. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. In a world ravaged by movie studios that keep rehashing the same things, only one podcaster has the guts to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit as he traverses the internet to bring you some of the best and worst ideas for reboots, remakes, and reimaginings of some of your favorite and least favorite TV and film properties. Ideas like a John Waters He-Man movie, Fantastic Four the musical, and Aliens done entirely with marionettes. What podcast would bring this evil upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. 
available anywhere you get your podcasts.